Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can separate your income from your time so that you're no longer trading time for money in your business or in your job. Most people are in this situation, whether you have a job or you own a business, chances are in order to make more money, you have to do more work. So if you work at a job and you get paid hourly, if you work more hours, you get paid more. But even a lot of businesses are in the same position. If you're a doctor with your own clinic, for example, in order to get paid more, you have to see more patients. And in order to see more patients, you have to spend more of your time. Or if you have a plumbing company, then you have to go fix more people's pipes in order to make more money. You have to give more of your time in order to make more money. And if you work a salaried position, it basically works the same way. You don't really get paid more if you work more. However, you are expected to be in the office a minimum number of hours. And your salary is based on that expected minimum. So a lot of people find themselves in this situation where they're constantly having to trade time for money. Uh, and a lot of people would like to get out of that situation for a variety of reasons. One is that the time for money trap puts a cap on your income, right? Even if you're making a lot of money per hour, right? For example, even if you're a lawyer that makes two or $300 per hour, if you're working by the hour, then you have a cap on your income because there are only a certain number of hours that you can work in a day and you can't really go above that. And you know, if you do try to go above that, then you're gonna completely burn yourself out. So your income is capped and also you have very little flexibility if you're in this position. You basically, you're, you're forced to work a certain amount of time in order to just be able to pay your bills. And you, you don't, you, there's no real way out of that. And so if you wanna take a break, if you wanna go on an extended vacation, then you better have the money saved up in advance because you're not gonna make any money while you're on vacation. You don't really get very much flexibility. So if you can separate your income from your time, like I'm gonna show you how to do in this video, then you can scale your income so that there's no cap on it anymore. It's, it's basically limitless. And then at the same time, you're also gonna give yourself a whole lot more flexibility uh, in your lifestyle. And so you're gonna be able to work kind of on your own terms. Um, you know, if, if you're like me, probably you like to work. You don't wanna just stop working and, and sit on the beach and sit Mai Tais all year. But at the same time, you'd like to be able to work on your own terms. You'd like to be able to work when you're inspired to work instead of being forced to work. Now I'm gonna show you three methods of doing this, of untying your income from your time. I'm gonna show you a good, better, and best method. Now, this will work for just about any business and, and just about any skilled job. And when I say skilled job, I mean something that's specialized, like being a plumber, being an electrician, being a, a doctor, a lawyer, an IT consultant, something that just the average person doesn't already know how to do. So really the only category of people that this will not work for is people who work unskilled labor jobs. So jobs where you're flipping burgers at McDonald's or you're digging ditches or something like that, this isn't gonna work for. And if you are in that situation, by the way, I'm, I'm not trying to discourage you. I'm not trying to insult you. Um, if you take a look at the rest of my channel, I have a lot of videos on how you can learn those specialized skills that are going to make this kind of thing feasible for you. So I highly recommend if you're in that situation, then go check out the rest of my channel. It's gonna be far more relevant to you. Okay, now the first way I wanna show you that you can separate your income from your time is to hire. That is, uh, you get the contracts yourself with clients, but then you hire other people to do the actual work for you. This is something that I do in my Excel consulting business where I charge clients $100 an hour, and then I find freelancers who will do the work for me for $15 or $20 an hour. So I'm getting most of the money from it, but I'm not doing most of the work. And so that works out pretty well. And you can hire either freelancers or you can hire employees. Now, if you hire freelancers, it's a lot easier. It's a lot less headache. Um, but if you hire employees, you get some great tax benefits. So that's another little perk if you go that way. Now, the, you know, the downsides to hiring people is that hiring people is a little bit difficult. You know, sometimes you hire people that aren't very good. Sometimes uh, people take a lot of your time. They, they ask you so many questions that you end up spending more of your time helping them and, and supporting them than you would have if you had just done the project by yourself. 
So it's not completely a walk in the park. And then if you decide to hire employees, then you're also opening yourself up to all sorts of legal liability, right? Because if the person isn't good and you have to fire them, they can, they can sue you for wrongful termination. Uh, or they, you know, if you don't hire the person in the first place, if you interview someone and don't hire them, then they can sue you for discrimination. Like you, you're opening yourself up to a whole bunch of legal issues and probably you're gonna need, uh, you're gonna need a lawyer, basically, if you're going to hire anybody. Um, you, know, you know, it might need payroll people. There's, there's kind of a lot of work that goes with it. So that's why I put hire in the first position. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's better than having to do everything yourself, but I'm going to show you some better ways that you can scale your income. And if you have a job, by the way, you're, you're probably listening to this and you're thinking, okay, well, how, how does this apply to me? I don't even have a business. Well, technically you could hire people to do your work for you. It reminds me of a story I read in the newspaper a long time ago about a guy who was a programmer for Bank of America making like $200,000 a year. And he just hired a, a, some programmer, some freelancer in China, and it paid him like $40,000 a year to do all the work for him. And he did this for years. He got great reviews on, you know, the freelancer did a great job. Uh, the, the boss was, was pretty happy about it until they figured out that he was farming out his work to China, which was, you know, totally against policy, so he got fired. So um, you're kind of playing with fire if you're trying to do that while you're working a job. However, if you have a skilled job, chances are you could convert that into a freelance business, right? If you were a computer programmer <clears throat> for Bank of America, you could just as easily be a computer programmer that works freelance for whatever client decides to contract you. The same is true with just about any kind of skilled position, right? If you're a plumber that works for a plumbing company, well, you could just separate and, and be your own plumbing company. And so in order to take advantage of this method, you would have to do that first generally. You'd have to separate, become your own company, uh, and then you could hire people to do the work for you. So that's the first method. The, the second method, the better method, is to franchise. Now, I've never actually done this myself, so you know I may get some details wrong here, just warn you in advance. But the, the next method I have is to franchise. And what that means, basically, is that once you have a business that's working, you can sell that business basically in a package to other people who would like to have that business and they will uh, run that business independently without you having to supervise them and they will pay you a franchise fee every month. And so this is really nice because it is very passive. Once you have the whole system set up and once you have uh, your, your franchisees, if, if that's the word for it, then you're getting paid every month and really having to do nothing at all. So that's the upside to franchising. Now, the, the downsides are that it's a lot of work up front. You have to uh, kind of create this package of everything that you give to your franchisees, and then you also have to be able to sell it to them. And it might be sort of a hard sell, trying to get somebody to basically dedicate their life uh, or their career for the foreseeable future to this package, this franchise that you've created. That might be a bit of a hard sell. Again, I haven't done this myself, so I can't say definitively, but it seems to me like something that you get some resistance from. And then there are probably also some legal issues. You probably have to get a lawyer to draw up a very specific agreement. Uh, you probably have to deal with, with people that are, that are your franchisees that are doing things differently than you would like to be doing them and they they stop paying their fees and you know misrepresenting your brand etc etc so probably some legal stuff you got to deal with as well now again if you're working a job you can't do this directly so you have to take that preliminary step of turning your job into a freelance business and you know i realize that that's that's not necessarily a walk in the park if you have a job you've never had to worry about getting customers before and as soon as you're a freelance business well now it's completely on you to get customers and and so i have videos on the rest of my channel that will help you in doing that but if you want to do this uh franchise step then definitely you do have to turn your job into a business first okay so that's the franchise method now down to the best way to do this in, in my opinion, the best, hands down, is to teach other people what you know. Teach other people how to get the results that you get. Now, the way that you do this is going to vary a little bit depending on your particular situation. And there are, basically there are four categories that I've identified for how to do this. The idea is that 
you have a desirable job. You have a job where you're getting paid $80,000 a year or $100,000 a year. Uh, you know, and, and there's a lot of people that are at, at 30,000 or 40,000. They would absolutely love to know how to get a job like you have that, that will double their salary. And actually, there's really no lower limit on this. Even if you're only making 40,000 a year, well, chances are there's somebody who's making 20,000 that would be happy to pay you to show them how to make 40,000. So basically the litmus test of this is to ask yourself the question, are the results I'm getting something that other people would be willing to pay for to get the same result? And if the answer is yes, then this method will work for you. Now, there, there are four ways that I've identified to do this, and depending on your job or your business, you wanna choose one of these four, or possibly a combination of the four. Now, the first way to do this is to teach how to do the work. How to do the work, or how to get the skills, or how to perform better in the work. So, for example, let's say that you are a salesman. You can teach people your method of selling that will increase the amount of commissions they're getting. Or let's say that you're a woodworker, that you create furniture out of wood. You just show people how to create furniture out of wood. Whatever it is that you're doing, you just show other people how to do the same work. So that's the, the first way to go about this. The second way is how to get hired. So this is what you wanna do if you have a job that other people would like to have. I encountered one guy who was doing this. He was a data scientist, and data scientists make good money. They, they're well into the six figures. And so he had been working as a data scientist for a while, and he created this program to teach other people how to get hired as data scientists. And he made a lot of money teaching this because a data, being a data scientist is a very desirable job. So somebody who's making $50,000 a year, you could get in front of them and say, hey, would you like to learn how to make $150,000 a year? That's a very valuable proposition and they would be willing to pay you handsomely for it. So if you have a desirable job, and you know, it doesn't have to be a six-figure job, right? Again, if you're making $40,000 a year, that's still desirable to somebody who's making $20,000 a year. So if you can teach somebody how to get hired at the sort of job that you uh, are already hired at, then that is very valuable to a lot of people. Okay, now the third way to do this is teach people how to get customers. So if you have a business and you are regularly bringing in customers, then chances are there are other people in the same business who would also like to be able to get customers, right? Probably there are people who are, who are trying to do the same business, but they're struggling to get customers. And if you can teach them your method for getting customers, they will pay handsomely for it. So for example, let's say that you're a dentist. Um, this, this is probably going to work the best for you. If you have a dentist office and you are getting a steady stream of customers coming in, then chances are there are a lot of struggling dentist office that would absolutely love to be able to know what you know about client acquisition. So you're not going to be able to do this, right? You're not going to be able to teach people how to be dentists. That's a very specialized knowledge that they have to go to school for for a long time. You're not going to want to try to teach them how to do the work, but you can, you can teach people who already know how to do the work. You can teach them how to get customers. Now, for my own uh, business where I teach people how to be Excel consultants, this is what I'm doing. Basically, I'm not teaching people how to, how to do Excel. Right, I'm, I'm taking people that already know how to do that and I'm showing them how to get customers, how to create a freelance business around the skill that they already have and how to get customers consistently. And this business, teaching people how to get Excel consulting clients is the best business that I've ever had. This has worked really, really well for me. And again, people are willing to pay for it because the amount of money that they make based on this knowledge is a very large amount of money, so it's worth paying a premium fee in order to learn that information. So that's the third category is how to get customers. Now, the fourth category is how to create a business from scratch. So this is you take somebody who's, who's basically has no experience and you teach them everything they need to know to set up a particular business. Now, I met a guy recently who had done this very successfully. He was a recruiter. 
uh, which, you know, if you don't understand how recruiting works, recruiters are people who go out to companies and say, hey, I can find you people to hire that are good. You know, I can, I can find you better executives or better computer programmers than you could, your HR people could find themselves. And then if you go find them a programmer and get that programmer hired, then the recruiter gets a percentage of the first year salary. And so if, you can, if you're good at recruiting, you can make a lot of money. And so this guy had created a very successful recruiting business. And so he decided to do exactly what I'm, what I'm saying here and teach other people how to create recruiting businesses. And so this isn't something like a dentist where if you have, you can't really teach somebody to be a dentist. Well, you can teach somebody to be a recruiter. Um, and so he taught, he taught these people how to create businesses completely from scratch. And so there's probably a lot of businesses where you can do the same thing, where you don't really need any sort of specialized skills like being a dentist or being a plumber. Um, so you could teach people how to create a recruiting business. If you are, you flip houses, for example, you could teach people how to have a business flipping houses. If you're a stock market investor, you could teach people how to be stock market investors. As long as it's something that you teach them the business, um, basically you're teaching them how to do the work and how to get customers at the same time. So as you can see, this method of, of teaching other people basically to replicate your career success, this will work for just about any business. As long as, you know, if your business is working, you know, if your business is failing, this isn't really going to work for you. But if you have a, a viable working business, then this will work for you. Or if you have a desirable job, if you have a job that other people would like to have. You know, again, like I said at the beginning, if you're flipping burgers at McDonald's, chances are nobody's going to uh, pay you to learn how to flip burgers at McDonald's or how to get a job at McDonald's. But if you have a, a somewhat skilled job, a somewhat higher level job, a somewhat higher paying job, even if you're like a waiter at a fancy restaurant, you know, some waiters make in excess of $100,000 a year, right? If, if they work at a sufficiently fancy restaurant. So you could very well have a course on how to get hired as a waiter at a fancy restaurant. So there are a lot of different applications for this. And this, I, I said that this method of teaching what you know, teaching your career success is the best by far of the three methods that I went over. And the reason for that is one, it's quick to set up. When I did this with my coaching program where I show people how to create Excel businesses, I set the whole thing up within two or three weeks and then the very first month of running it, I made $30,000. Literally just the first month before, you know, when it was completely rough around the edges, before doing anything with it, I made 30 grand in the first month. So this works really, really well. Now it's also mostly passive. There's, there's not a whole lot of work that you have to do. So in my case, and you can structure it differently, but in my case, I do a, a live call uh, for one hour every week. And so that's really the, the only actual scheduled work that I have to do is one hour a week. Everything other than that is passive. And then you don't have to manage people. You don't have to worry about bad employees. You don't have to worry about getting sued. Uh, there's not really any legal stuff that you got to worry about. There's a very high income potential from this because it's very easy to scale, right? You know, if you're, if you're hiring employees, you got to uh, your scale is limited by how many employees you can manage, where this you can, uh, you can basically scale infinitely. So whatever it is that you're doing now, chances are that if you teach other people to do it, you can make a whole lot more money than you're making doing whatever you're doing right now with a lot less work. This is also an easy sell uh, because it, the, the numbers are just black and white. If you can teach somebody who's making $50,000 a year to make $100,000 a year, well, you know exactly how much that product is worth. You know exactly how much what you teach is worth, right? It's worth $100,000 a year, the, the goal, minus $50,000 a year, their current state. So your information is worth $50,000 a year. So basically, any price tag that's under $50,000, it's worth that amount. And you can sell that to multiple people. If you, if you price it, let's say you price it at $5,000 a year, you sell it to 20 people 
over the course of a year, well, you've just made your $100,000. If you sell it to 50 people over the course of the year, you've made $250,000, and you can just kind of scale it infinitely. And then it also gives you a ton of freedom and flexibility. It's basically location independent. You can do this all over the internet, so you, know, you can go anywhere you want, uh, you can take vacations, as long as you want, wherever you want, as long as you can be there for that one hour time segment that you have to, to do the, the live coaching. And that's only if you choose to do live coaching. You can actually take out the live coaching element completely. I like to do live coaching because I think it, it gives people a much it gives people a lot of comfort for one thing and a much higher uh, rate of success because if you're there to answer their specific issues and address their specific situation, they're more likely to get results than if you kind of just give them a one size fits all course. So I do recommend that and you know, that's really the only downside to this is that that one hour a week or maybe you have two meetings a week and you have two hours a week that you have to dedicate. But other than that, you have basically complete freedom, both freedom to travel, to go wherever you want and also freedom to set your own schedule, to work as, as much or as little as you'd like to. And so for people who are working a job, if you have to come into the office for 40 hours a week, well, this uh, method is going to give you a whole lot more freedom and chances are it's going to raise your income dramatically as well. And then also if you have a business where your, your time is tied to your income, where you're a contractor or you're a lawyer or whatever it is, you, you bill by the hour, you bill by the project, um, this is going to give you the freedom to step away from that and still make money and probably more money than you were making before. Now, if this is of interest to you and you'd like to do this method of teaching your job or teaching your business and therefore untying your income from your time, I'm going to host a special training session where I go into detail about how to do this. Right? I've kind of given you the overview of what to do, of what the business model is, but I wanna show you actually uh, how to create this business. And so I'm thinking I'm going to do a training to show you how to do this. Now, as of the date of recording this video, I don't really have a lot of details yet. This is still something that I'm working out. However, if you would like to join that training when it is ready, and you know, you might be watching this and it's already ready, but as of recording, it's not ready. But if you would like, if you would be interested in this, if you would like to learn how to teach other people how to do your job or to do your business and therefore untie your time from your income, uh, then I will put a link in the description below where, where you can sign up. And if I don't have the details just yet, then I will send you an email when I do get the details. So if that's something that interests you, I'll put the link in the description below. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please hit the thumbs up because it makes YouTube like me better. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell icon beside the subscribe button so you're the first to get my new videos. And if you enjoyed this video, I think you'd also really like this video right here. So take a look at that and I will see you soon.